Federal government removes professional bodies, councils from budget funding. Governing Nigeria is one of the hardest challenges in life, says former President Buhari. From the global scene. On Russia-Ukraine war, Russian attack on Kramatorsk kills eight. Bolivia investigates 35 Catholic church members over sex abuse. Plus reports from the world of sports. Welcome to the Forefront Media TV News Hour. I am Fabo Anthony. Remember, if you haven't followed us on any of our social media handles, please go do so now. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at the Forefront Media NG. And now to details from the local scene. Federal government removes professional bodies, councils from budget funding. The federal government has discontinued funding of professional bodies and councils with effect from 2026. Director General of the Budget Office, Ben Akaboeze, disclosed this in a circular dated 26 June 2023 to the Nigerian Council of Food Science and Technology, Federal Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. Governing Nigeria is one of the hardest challenges in life, says former President Buhari. Former President Muhammad Buhari has said that leading a country like Nigeria is one of the hardest challenges in life. Buhari, who stated this in his Salah message via a statement issued by his spokesman, Malam Gaba Shew, saluted Muslims as he wished them a happy Eid and to those on pilgrimage, Hajj Mabor, and a safe return home. The former president in his message urged Nigerians to fully support the administration of President Bola Tinubu to succeed. CBN says currency in circulation has jumped to 2.53 trillion naira. Currency in circulation in the country rose by 157.27% at the end of March to 2.53 trillion naira as of the end of May. Latest figures from the Central Bank of Nigeria have revealed. Still on the local scene. Father sells nine year old son for 400,000 naira in Aquabum. The Aquabum State Police Command has confirmed the arrest of a father, Gabriel Ekiri, for selling his nine year old son for 400,000 naira in the Itu local government area of the state. Lawless soldiers shoot a good driver for parking beside company. A commercial driver, Balaji Sunday, has been hospitalized after two yet to be identified soldiers allegedly shot him for parking his vehicle at the front of the Oriental Transport Company around Magboro bus stop in the Obafemi Owode local government area of Ogun State. Ohana Eze hosts British envoy, seeks reduced jail term for Ekere Madu. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohana Eze Ndigbo, has begged the British government to have clemency on the jailed former Deputy Senate President, Ike Ekere Madu. 91% UTME candidates picked universities over polytechnics and colleges of education. Of the 1,595,773 applicants, for the 2023 Unified Teacher Matriculation Examination, 1,453,797 representing 91% are seeking admission into universities. On subsidy removal, poor Nigerians will hit 101 million without palliatives, says World Bank. The World Bank has stated that Nigeria has one of the highest inflation rates, which pushed an estimated 4 million people into poverty between January and May 2023. We're now going on a short break, but still to come. On Russia-Ukraine war, Russian attack on Kramatorsk kills eight. 
Bolivia investigates that five Catholic Church members over sex abuse. This and more for sports after this timeout. Watch Euro's biggest league such as Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Champions League and other sports. Visit our website www.theforefrontng.com For more inquiries, message us on WhatsApp plus 234 81 Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram at the Forefront Media NG. Welcome back from that short break. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at the Forefront Media NG. And now to the news from the global scene. On Russia Ukraine war, Russian attack on Kramatorsk kills eight. Three children are among the victims of a Russian missile attack on Kramatorsk city in eastern Ukraine that has killed at least eight people and injured dozens more. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg has said the Western military alliance is ready to defend itself against any threat posed by the move of Russia's Wagner mercenary force to Belarus. Britain says Russia paid 1 billion US dollars to Wagner Group over last year. Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Tuesday that Moscow had paid out last year just over 1 billion US dollars to the Wagner mercenary group which last week staged a failed mutiny. The states paid to the Wagner group at 6.262 billion rubles, around 1 billion US dollars for the salary for fighters and incentive rewards between May 2022 and May 2023 alone, Putin said. Bolivia investigates 35 Catholic Church members over sex abuse. Prosecutors opened an investigation following a report by the Spanish Daily El Pais in April about the late Spanish priest Alfonso Pedrajas, whose diary indicated that he had abused more than 80 minors in Bolivia, where he had lived since the early 1970s. Now to the world of sports. Tottenham striker Harry Kane reaches agreement with Bayern Munich. Tottenham Hotspur striker Harry Kane has reached an agreement in principle with Bayern Munich over a summer move, Build reports. The Bundesliga champions have already seen a £60 million offer turned down by sports. Kane has now sorted out personal terms with Bayern after negotiations conducted by Kane's father and brother. Still on sports. Napoli talisman of Simen, rated world's fourth most valuable player. Victor Osimhen is the fourth most valuable player in the world with a worth of 120 million euros according to transfer markets. The rating placed Osimhen only behind Paris St. Germain Scalian Mbappe, Manchester City's Erling Haaland, and Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. Mbappe and Haaland are worth 180 million euro after a 10 million euro upgrade on the Norwegian on the Norwegian from his previous value of 170 million euro. Vinicius is worth 150 million euro, while Osimhen is joint fourth in value with Arsenal's Bukayo Saka and Jude Bellingham of Real Madrid. Before the close of last season, the Nigerian top goal banger was worth 100 million euro, but his value further increased last week. His club mates Vita, who won the most valuable player in the Italian top flight last term, is only worth 85 million euro. With this, We've come to the end of the Forefront Media TV News Hour. Until we come your way again next time, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.